This video will demonstrate how to use Cadence's own jack bridges to get jack audio support for mumble input and mumble output. You first have to do the ALSA to jack bridge, so go ahead and start that, which I've already done. And that's what it looks like in your jack audio connection bay, and I'm using the Carlet Git version as the first two videos also showed. Here's the mumble output then, and in order to do that, all you have to do is go into the settings and click the ALSA default. That default will automatically go to that ALSA to jack plugin for both input and output. So don't worry about the rest of them, just find that default and it's usually right at the top. Unless you've selected something else in the past before, then it should be just under that. And because we haven't initiated the pulse audio first, we don't have that as an option. And, if, and otherwise, you can only get pulse audio if that's running to begin with. So only run that after you're finished doing this. So get mumble set up to default default. Activate the plugin from Cadence. And I'm using the Alsa Loop Jack bridge, the bridge type that is. This is the Cadence Sound Loop Daemon, and it has been started, and it looks just like this right here. Jack to Alsa and Alsa to Jack. I'm using a mixer here to take the inputs that I want to go into the input of Mumble to mix them properly. As you see, all the wires are going right to here. This is the output of Mumble, and I want a separate mixer just so I can mix all the audio that's going to everybody else. I don't may want to hear it louder or, or less volume than what's going into the input, but you don't want to mess with the inputs to mumble when you change what you're hearing. So that's why I'm using a second mixer. So all this audio is going over to a second jack mixer and an AGC plug-in here, and then to the sound card into my headphones. So the output of mumble goes here. The output of my desktop is here on the second input. Morse code and from a native application that has jack support already, Aqualung. Let me go ahead and play that real quick. There's a, um, a 38 million users. And, and we have, have it down pretty low of here. Of which there's less than 10 million. Right, which is the, yeah. the I'm on the paid. paid so you need to listen for your volumes. How much do you want going into Mumble? And how much do you want to hear it? So here's Aqualung. And if you set this properly, then when I speak, you'll hear my voice over the music, and then it'll, it will duck back the, to the levels as before, so that you can hear both music, and if somebody's speaking, it becomes the priority speaker. And we have, again, the tone generation from a CW keyer. And let's go ahead and start that loop now so we can go to desktop audio, and I'll show you how that works. So once you've got that established, the ALSA, now click on Pulse Audio down here and start the daemon here. Okay, it's started, and that's what it looks like. Pulse Audio Jack Sync. So that's where the audio comes out. And if you ever wanted to send audio to Pulse Audio, like if you had a Skype run-in at the same time, you would send all the audio that you wanted to go to Skype to here. So, if, say my microphone. Then whoever was on Skype would be able to hear it. And the Skype caller would come out here. But I, right now I just want to show you what browser audio does using this Pulse Audio module. So bring up your uh, favorite browser. I'm going to bring up uh, Firefox here after the Pulse Audio has been initiated. And we'll start up, go to a podcast here, take a look. We'll get this started. Okay, so now you don't hear anything because it's coming out of Pulse Audio, so I'm, I've already made a mixer input um, for it. And, and so, Nikki, so what you said, Nikki, let's and now you should movies. be able to hear it. Yes, so I, I talked to a, a resort movie theater. Oh, there it is. That's the opening of the... Okay, 
So the net audio goes into the mixer, and the desktop audio comes out here, goes to the input of Mumble, of the screen recorder that I'm using, and also goes over to this output jack mixer, so I can adjust how loud I want to hear that audio. But when I adjust it to how much or less I want to hear it, I don't want it to affect the input of Mumble, so that's why we're using input mixer, output mixer. And that's the basic setup. It works pretty easy with Cadence. Just remember to start this plug-in first, then we get it set up, and you've got Mumble set up, rare and to go. Take a look at your levels. Should be about, you know, right around in here somewhere. My mic's a little bit low on Mumble, so I could raise that up. So watch this. Let's take the microphone up a bit. Microphone, there we go. So now that's plenty of volume, right up, right about where that's leveling, right through there. And it may be too loud for the video, because might, I might be distorting, but you can adjust that accordingly. So the Cadence application of KX Studio as the uh, Jack Audio Control Center works great with these two plugins. Has some other tools that are interesting. We've got log files here, so you can check out if something's not going right. Meters, Wine ASIO, as far as if you're using a Windows programs, and some other things to look at. But this is the main secret weapon I wanted to show you guys. Using these uh, Jack to Alsa and Alsa to Jack plugins to get easy support for jack audio in the mumble input and output just using default thanks for watching